2023 was a year of non-stop gaming. From Tears of the Kingdom, Baldur's Gate 3, Diablo 4, to exclusives like Marvel's Spider-Man 2 and Starfield and the indie scene, there were so many amazing titles and so little time to explore each and every one of them. If you thought you broke your wallet this year, then be prepared for the gaming storm that's coming in 2024. Welcome to Hotfix Gaming, I'm Joy. These 10 titles we're talking about today are set to launch in just the first half of the new year. So, let's get started. Number 10. Alone in the Dark Alone in the Dark, released for PC in 1992, was the world's first 3D survival horror game, and it inspired an entire genre. But now, it's back, with a modern adaptation that honors the original game's creepy roots. When Alone in the Dark was initially released, it helped establish the groundwork for games like Resident Evil to become what they are today. Now, THQ Nordic is working to revitalize the franchise that's previously seen a few adaptations deviate too far from what fans enjoyed about the first few games. Many of gaming's most popular survival horror franchises have a habit of diverting into releasing sequels filled with more action than the intense horror gameplay that initially set the series apart. Alone in the Dark seems poised to ignore that trend with a strong return to the survival horror genre that the franchise not only excelled at, but helped give birth to. A mysterious world, layered characters, nail-biting encounters, and increasingly tricky puzzles await when the Alone in the Dark remake releases on March 20th, 2024. Number 9. Life by You if you like The Sims 4 but want more creative freedom, then you'll absolutely love Life by You. This open-world simulation promises no loading screens as you venture about town, but what really makes the prospect of this game so exciting as a true Sims competitor is the amount of customization it looks set to offer. To begin with, this game will let you make your own human with its character creator, which, by the way, has a wealth of features that'll let you shape them as you wish, as well as creating the look of your character complete with body shape, gender, and even a non-binary option. You can also pick personality and character traits and select a background to help shape their story. But outside of your controllable humans, you'll also be able to build and customize homes and businesses for them. In fact, you can rearrange the entire town in Town Creator. Life by You looks set to be an open world that's there for you to craft and mold as you please. Be ready to unleash your creativity on the 5th of March 2024 when this title releases. Number 8. Prince of Persia – The Lost Crown The Prince of Persia franchise has faced a lot of setbacks when it comes to releasing new content. But the newest game by Ubisoft, Prince of Persia – The Lost Crown, is set to revamp the series in 2024. Prince of Persia The Lost Crown is set in Mount Kaf, where Sargon fights against mythical monsters to help save the city. The game is a platformer much like the others in the series, featuring puzzles along with combat gameplay. The up-to-date graphics create a more visually modern game. This is a game Prince of Persia fans have been waiting for for a long time, and it seems developers have added an awesome new title to the franchise. It's set to release on the 15th of January 2024. Number 7. Persona 3 Reload Persona 3 Reload is a remake of the third installment, featuring enhanced visuals, performance, and gameplay improvements. This game is exciting since the Persona series enjoyed an explosion in popularity following the release of Persona 4 and Persona 5, meaning many players might have missed out on the third installment. While it's disappointing that Persona 3 Reload won't allow you to play as a female protagonist like you could in Persona 3 Portable, this remake is still one to look forward to. Persona 3 Reload comes with a much-appreciated visual overhaul to the game, a new cast of voice actors, and new original songs added to its already spectacular soundtrack, and it will be available on all consoles from the 2nd of February 2024. Number 6. Princess Peach Showtime Nintendo fans shouldn't be worried, as they have not been forgotten about in 2024. While there are rumors of a new Paper Mario, one thing that is for sure is that Princess Peach is getting her own game in 2024. No longer the damsel in distress, Princess Peach finally gets her time to shine in this platforming adventure that sees her on a journey to save the Sparkle Theater from an evil witch. She'll be teaming up with a guardian ribbon called Stella, who does more than just give the Mushroom Kingdom's princess a ponytail. 
The big theme is that for each level, she'll also be able to don new costumes, granting her new abilities. From a sword fighter, to a detective, to a martial artist, to patissiere, and more. It's like Super Mario Odyssey, but with costume changes, and it'll release on the 22nd of March, 2024. Number 5. Hades 2 as Zagreus succeeded in reuniting his parents and meeting all of his Olympian extended family in his own dungeon-crawling adventure, now it's time for him to pass the torch. And who else would be better in following Zagreus' footsteps than his own sister, Melano, the Princess of Hell? Hades 2 is a direct sequel to the original game that's said to take place some time after the events of Zagreus' underworld escapades. Also set in and around Greek myth, Hades 2 centers around Kronos, the titan of time, who's known to be a wicked father to Hades and his brothers. Escaped from imprisonment in the underworld, Kronos now wages war on Olympus. While it is a direct follow-up to the first game, Supergiant makes it clear that you don't need to know anything about Hades or Greek mythology to get stuck into the sequel. How are Melano and Kronos linked? What will happen with the two of them? All these answers are bound to be answered sometime in Q2 of 2024 when Hades 2 releases in Early Access. Number 4. Skull and Bones To say that Skull and Bones has been in development hell would be the understatement of the decade, but after a long development cycle and many, many delays, it's finally received a release date along with a beta and pre-order options. At its core, Skull and Bones is a pirate-themed game, set to be released on the 16th of February 2024, and will feature naval combat, as well as giving players the option to customize their ships. What separates this title from the likes of other pirate games, such as Assassin's Creed Black Flag, is the fact that it leaves the most common pirate setting of the Caribbean behind for a foray into the Indian Ocean during the second golden age of piracy. It also makes it possible to explore this open-world environment either alone or in co-op play, making it possible to take on enemies with a coalition of player-controlled ships. Number 3. Tekken 8 With Street Fighter VI and Mortal Kombat 1 being 2023 games, it looks like 2024 only expands on the fun of 1v1 fighter games with the highly anticipated Tekken 8. The newest installment in the series is set to focus on aggressiveness, with the new heat gauge, with the gameplay actually rewarding aggressiveness rather than defensiveness or patient play. There'll be a focus on stage destruction and the characters' reactions to these in a bid to make the gameplay more enjoyable to watch as well as play. Tekken 8 is due to release on the 26th of January 2024 on the PS5, Xbox Series, and Windows. Number 2. Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth the Yakuza franchise may have released Like a Dragon Gaiden just in November, but that's just a stopgap to appease fans until Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth comes out. Ichiban Kasuga makes a return as the protagonist, but he's also joined by the beloved veteran character Kazuya Kiryu. The story takes place in both Japan and Hawaii, creating new areas for players that are used to Tokyo, where the majority of other Yakuza games are based. Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth doesn't stray too far from the franchise's roots of being a turn-based RPG with a drama-filled storyline. Ichiban is sent to Hawaii to find his mom and meets obstacles along the way from local gangs which jeopardize his entire mission. If Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth delivers everything promised in the story trailer, it will be another worthy installment to the Yakuza series. Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth is set to be released on the 26th of January 2024. Now, before we move on to the number one spot on our list, let's look at some honorable mentions. They might not be in our top 10, but they're still worthy entries that you should definitely check out. Pacific Drive by Seattle-based game developer Ironwood Studios is a survival adventure game in which you drive for your life through a creepy forest, scavenging for fuel and supplies to keep your trusty station wagon functional. Pacific Drive is basically a road trip from hell where Murphy's Law will run rampant and it's set to release in Q1 of 2024. Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl, a game that's based on an area simply called The Zone, will have players in the role of a stalker who shoots monsters and explores weird anomalies created by The Zone. What it doesn't have is a set release date, but it is promised to be available sometime in Q1. Star Wars Outlaws While there are many games in the Star Wars franchise, Outlaws is not a direct sequel nor a spin-off, but rather will be standing on its own with an original storyline. There's no release date yet, but it's believed that we'll get to experience this new storyline somewhere around the middle of 2024. And now, it's finally time for our number one 2024 release. 
Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. The Final Fantasy saga continues with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, a sequel to Final Fantasy VII Remake which was released in 2020. Both are based off of the original Final Fantasy VII that was published in the 1990s. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth picks up where Final Fantasy VII Remake ended, with Cloud, Strife, Aerith, Barret, Tifa, and Red 8 leaving Midgard to pursue Sephiroth. The game features brilliant updated graphics, which helps it fit in with more contemporary games. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is only the second installment of a trilogy that aims to expand upon the original Final Fantasy VII. That means fans should expect Final Fantasy VII Rebirth to end on a cliffhanger to make room for the final game. It's expected to release on the 29th of February 2024. Which game are you most looking forward to in 2024? Let us know your top choice in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see more gaming content, make sure to subscribe to our channel and also check out our top 10 best games of 2023 list, as well as our top 10 worst games of 2023. Both these videos are linked here.